What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about the new High Isles chapter coming to the Elder Scrolls Online this summer. Now of course this was the big reveal event, the big new zone, the big new area. And it seems like some players are really excited about it while others are not. Some people feel like there's not enough content here. So let's go ahead and talk about what exactly we're going to get with this. We're going to go to the High Isles, which of course has never before been seen in the Elder Scrolls. This is a stunning uh, kind of area as they, as they describe it. It looks like it's going to be a very nice looking zone. White cliffs, majestic castles, and perilous jungles as you encounter the chivalrous Breton society. So it's a set up kind of like a medieval knight idea. It says, uncover a secret of the Order of the Knights led by the mysterious Ascendant Lord who threatens to disrupt peace talks for the ongoing Three Banners War and, con and condemn Tamriel to endless conflict. This is kind of interesting to me because a lot of people were expecting big changes to Cyrodiil and PvP in general this year. And there still may be some that we don't know about yet. But this almost sounds like if you end this conflict, that the whole Cyrodiil kind of three banner war idea is going to be resolved. And I'm not quite sure exactly what they're going with, with this kind of idea. Um, I'm not sure if there's just not going to happen, you know, it's not going to end it. It's going to continue, which I would assume would be the idea. I really do think Cyrodiil needs a complete makeover. Uh, it's been the same kind of fight for the last seven years. So I think they can definitely change how that story works in Cyrodiil. And I think a lot of people were kind of disappointed on the PvP side to say there was really no big changes to how PvP and Cyrodiil are going to work in general. Of course, there's going to be some updates and changes to some things to fix some problems within Cyrodiil, but that is one thing players have been complaining about for a really long time. If you're a PvP fan, PvP has exactly not been in a great state really ever. Uh, another thing they're going to add in, of course, is Tales of Tribute, which is a new kind of fast-paced collectible card game you can play in any of the taverns in any of the zones against npcs or against real players it's going to be kind of a deck building game and i talked about this in a video right before the reveal how i think the taverns needed you know new games in them card games board games darts whatever the case may be to make them more of a social kind of area and they did add something in the game like that which kind of you know was a thing that i thought the game needed but to make it kind of the main point of the DLC, I think that disappointed some players as well because some people are just not interested in, you know, uh, a, a deck building kind of card game. I, I think this could have been added in with the smaller DLCs, like, you know, the smaller dungeon DLCs. One of the other three, they could have added the Tales of Tribute in instead of making it one of the main focal points of the large DLC this summer. Of course, new challenges and rewards. They talk about the new trial, which I know a lot of PvE fans will be happy about. Two new companions, which a lot of PvE fans will be happy about as well. I did make a video about the new companions. If you want to check that out, I would highly recommend it. One of these companions is going to actually allow you to be you know, more kind of on the evil side of the game to pickpocket and steal. This companion actually likes it when you do that. And that is one thing a lot of people in the community wanted with the companions. Actually, a companion that's not always losing rapport if you do something that's not technically good in-game. New World Events, which is Volcanic Events, kind of the same thing as Dolman's. We've got this every year. It's just different style of dolmen, year in and year out. I was hoping Zoss would actually try to go with something different with these new world events. We'll kind of just have to wait and see how the volcanic events work. But most people are expecting it to be just like everything we've had in the past. And of course, last but not least, they talk about new rewards and treasures. Reclaim the lost treasures of the Breton people and earn new, new unique item sets, collectibles, and achievements. I'm hoping they will tie some of this stuff into the antiquity system. I feel like the antiquity system really needs a you know some new additions to it, and I think there's a lot of things they could do with the antiquity system, uh, you know, for housing and furnishings and things like that. Hopefully, they're going to add some new things within the antiquity system to this, and not just be kind of what we've seen over the last few years. Well, there might be some really nice, you know, good pieces of gear within the antiquity system that you have to go do a lot of stuff for uh, within the system itself. And kind of make it to be more of a, a fun thing for, you know, PvE fans like to go out and just adventure, kind of just to use if you're a fan of decorating houses, whatever the case may be. Overall, I think players are kind of split. Some people are really are excited about it. Some players are not happy with the, you know, content whatsoever. A lot of people like the reveal and then some other people were kind of disappointed with the reveal. And I think there's a few players out there in the community that are kind of on the fence. I think the... The people that like to adventure, the people that like, you know, kind of the card game idea, the people that like companions, the people that like just maybe playing dungeons on normal are going to have the same amount of content you get every year. But when it comes to the hardcore PvE fans, I think you're probably going to have the same kind of content. You're still going to have a lot of dungeons you can do on hard mode. You're going to have a new trial that you can play on hard mode. But at the same time, I think there's some hardcore PvE fans that were wanting, 
you know, new classes, which I talked about before. I didn't think we were going to get a new class. I thought the best thing we might could have got would have been a rework of the weapon lines or skill lines or new weapon or skill lines, but sadly we did not get that either. And I think on the PvP side, a lot of people are just really disappointed. I know there's a lot of PvP players out there that have quit playing the game because they're not happy with the PvP. And it does not seem like that's going to change too much going forward. There are some promises of some changes this year to PvP, so we'll kind of have to wait and see as the year goes on. But overall, like I said, I think it's just kind of a split thing. People either really like the content and are really happy about the high aisles, and some players are just not. Now, there's been a lot of conversations since the reveal. There was a lot of hype around this reveal, and I think some people were just absolutely disappointed. Like I said, I think the card game sounds really cool, sounds really neat, but I don't know if it should have been a main focal point also with the companions because Zoss knows a lot of people don't use companions. If you're a uh, an in-game trial player or you're a PvP player, companions are pretty much useless to you. Now, if you're someone who likes to go out and pickpocket and steal, I think this new companion, one of them, is going to be a, you know, a big benefit to a lot of players. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you had not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.